Hey guys, Molly here and welcome back to my channel. So I am going to do my bookshelf tour of 2018. So I have this shelf, um, this is top shelf, but then I have another shelf on my other side of my room um, that has my other books. Well, they're all like, I couldn't fit all of my books on just one shelf, but then I didn't have enough room on this side, so it's on my other side of my room. That I don't film on. This is the bookcase I currently film in front of because it's right in front of my window. So yeah, I, I think we should just get started. Um, this is my first shelf, which holds my um some of my fantasy books. So I have fantasy, and then on my other shelf, like I have like fantasy more and dystopian, and you can't see, but you know I'll get to that when I get there. So, on the first shelf, I have... So, the first book I have is Flame in the Mist by Renee Adahe. Um, this is a ARC that I got in a giveaway. And the next book I have is The Wizard of Oz by L. Frank Baum. Um, it is the Great Illustrated Classics edition. And then I have Mart by PC Cast and Kristen Cast. And then I have What the Spell, a Life's Witch book by Brittany Gergadalas. I just butchered that last name. I'm so sorry. A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Mass. It is the first book in the Throne of um, the of Court of Thorns and Roses uh, trilogy. And then I have A Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J. Maas. This is the second book in the A Court of, Mist, A Court of Thorns and Roses uh, trilogy. Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Maas. Um, this is the first book in the Throne of Glass series. And then I have Crown of Midnight by Sarah J. Maas. And then I have Air of Fire by Sarah J. Maas. This is the third one. And then on to my Twilight, I have Twilight by Stephanie Meyer. And then I have the movie edition of New Moon by Stephanie Meyer. This is the second book. And then I have Eclipse by Stephanie Meyer. This is the third one. And then I have a, an Eclipse novella, which is The Short Second Life of Brie Tanner by Stephanie Meyer. Big Bad Boy of Breaking Dawn by Stephanie Meyer. And this is the last book. Evermore by Alison Noel, which is the first book in the Immortal series. And then I have Blue Moon by Alison no Noel. Um, this is the second book in the Immortals. Uh, Dorothy Must Die by Danielle Page. This is the first book. I only have the first one. At the moment, I have... The first two books of the Kingdom Keepers uh, series, I would say. Yeah, it is series. Uh, I have Kingdom Keepers Disney at Dawn, which is the first one. And then I have uh, Kingdom Keepers Disney at Dawn. Oh, I mean Disney After Dark. Yeah, did I say Disney After Dark? I think so. This is Disney at Dawn. And that is my first shelf. And then we have my second shelf, which holds uh, some my, my last fantasy to here. And then I have dystopian on this shelf also. So the first book I have on this shelf is Ms. Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs. This is the first book in the Peculiar Children uh, trilogy. And then I have Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone by J.K. Rowling. And then I have Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets by J.K. Rowling. This is the Marks paperback edition, which I want the regular edition because I hate Marks paperback. They're annoying and they're small and they're hard to read. And I just hate them overall. I don't know why they were even invented. Then I have Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. This glare is annoying me so much. Um, thank you, Natural Sunlight. But this is the third one in the Harry Potter by J.K. Rowling. 
And I have Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire by J.K. Rowling. This is the fourth book. And then I have Harry Potter and the Order of Phoenix by J.K. Rowling. This is the fifth one. I have the sixth one in hardback, which is Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince by J.K. Rowling. And the final Harry Potter book I have is Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows by J.K. Rowling. This is the seventh and final book in the trilogy. I mean series, not trilogy. Okay. And then I have Strange Sweet Song by Adai Roll. Um, this is a standalone fantasy novel, I'm going to guess. I think it's standalone. I have, this is my dystopia now. I have H2O by Veronica Bergen. Uh, this is the first book in the H2O series. I don't know how many books are in this. And then I have The Selection by Kira Cass. This is the first book in The Selection a uh, trilogy I think and then they have like novella and then of um, her daughter and I have the Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins this is the first book and then I have Catching Fire and Hardback by Suzanne Collins and then I have Mockingjay by Suzanne Collins which is the final book in the Hunger Games trilogy and then I have The Maze Runner by James Dashner. This is the first book in the Maze Runner trilogy. And then I have Scorch Trials. And then I have The Death Cure. And then I have The Kill Order by James Dashner. I don't know why this is last. It should be in front of The Maze Runner. I'm going to fix that when I am done. But this is a prequel novel to The Maze Runner trilogy. Then over there I have Gone by Michael Grant, which is the first book in the Gone series. And that is my second shelf. And then this is my final shelf on this bookcase. This is the third shelf. Um, I am holding it because my tripod that I balance my phone on is not, can't lower and I can't obviously uh, shine it down like that on the tripod because my phone is literally balancing on it because I need a phone tripod but yeah so this has this holds also my dystopian and then I have a uh, contemporary also so the first one I have is legend by Marie Lu which is the first book in the legend trilogy and then I have shatter me by Tahar Mafi which is the first book in the Shatter Me series. And then I have Unravel Me by Tahara Mafi. This is the second book in the Shatter Me um, series. And then I have uh, Divergent by Veronica Roth. This is the movie edition. This is the first book in the Divergent uh, trilogy. I have Insurgent by Veronica Roth. And then I have Allegiant by Veronica Roth, which is the third one. And then I have Four by Veronica Roth, which is the uh, Four novella. And then I have The Program by Suzanne Young, which is the first book in the Program uh, trilogy. I have The Treatment by Suzanne Young, which is the second one in the program trilogy and then i have the sisterhood of the traveling pants by anne barcheries uh, i just butchered that last name i'm so sorry and then i have the second book in the the second summer of the sisterhood and i have girls in pants the third summer of the sisterhood and then i have forever in blue the fourth Summer of the Sisterhood. And then I have Starstruck by Lauren Conrad, which is the second book in a, a fame game novel, which is, I don't have the first one, because I got this from Goodwill, and I mistakenly didn't look at Goodreads before I got it, which was my mistake. And this is uh, Used to Be by uh, Eileen, Eileen Cook. I have The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. And then I have To All the Boys I Loved Before 
trilogy, which is To All the Boys I Loved Before, P.S. I Still Love You, and Always and Forever, Laura Jean, which is all by Jenny Han. Okay, so this is my second shop that I have, which is on my other side of the room, which is right next to my bed right here. I'm sitting on my bed um, at the moment, but this is from the side of the window, which I don't know if this is going to be better or ter more terrible lighting or work with it. So yeah, um, yeah, it's still terrible lighting. Um, the Unexpected Everything by Morgan Maxson. Matson. Then I have This Is Where It Ends by Mariki Nichakam Nichakam Camp Camp uh, Okay, let's let's keep going. I have All the Bright Places by Jennifer Niven, Anna in the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins, and then I have The List by Sobahan Sobahan Vivian. I know that I. Siobhan, oh, Siobhan, Vivian, I think. I think that's how you pronounce her first name. I'm just, I'm terrible at pronouncing names and just names in general, so. And then I have Girl Online by Zoe Sugg, which is the first book in the Girl Online uh, trilogy. And then the next book I have is All in Pieces by Suzanne Young. One is The Girl in the Road by Monica, Monica Brine, Briney, Brine. And the next one is Illuminae by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff, which is the first book in the Illuminae Files uh, trilogy at the moment. I have Clone Codes by the Marquisacks. And then I have Cinder by Marissa Meyer, which is the first book in the Lunar Chronicles. And then I have Scarlet by Marissa Meyer. This is the second book. And then I have Cress by Marissa Meyer. This is the third one. And then I have The Host by Stephanie Meyer. And then I have The Host by Stephanie Meyer. This is the, the movie edition, which is in Mark Threebrook. Uh, but this actually, I got this one first from Goodwill, and I got that from Goodwill too. But, ugh, this glare, oh my gosh, I'm, oh, it's so annoying. But, um, this actually has a bonus chapter in the back, which I didn't realize, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to read this edition, and then I'll read the bonus chapter, so I'm not going to get rid of it just yet. And if I, like, I, I'm just going to read, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I might return it back to Goodwill. But who knows? And then I have The Martian by Andy Weir. Which that's my first shelf I have on this bookcase. So I have to hold my phone again, which is, this is the second bookshelf. But this is lower, so I can't exactly like, because there are different um, lengths in my tripod. I did it all the way down. And I just, you know. Okay, let's just get into it. And then, okay, so I have... The Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey. And then I have The Infinity Sea by Rick Yancey, the second book. Then I have The Last Star by Rick Yancey. And now this is getting into my historical fiction, which the first one is The Boy in the Striped Pajamas by John Boyne. And then I have Annie Between the States by L. M. Elliot. And then I have Out of the Dust by Karen Hesse. And then I have To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee. And then I have The Indian Captive, The Story of Mary uh, Jemson by Louis Lensky. Lensky. And then I have The Book Thief by Marcus Suzak, which is an exclusive collector's edition. Now this is getting into my romance section. So the first book I have is Love, Rosie by Cece Cecilia Ahern, which is the movie edition. I have Everybody Rise by Stephanie Clifford. And then I have Fifty Shades of Grey by E.L. James. And then I have Othello, No Fear Shakespeare, which is written in the original language and then the modern English transition, uh, translation. And then I have Three Little Words by uh, Ashley Rhodes Couture. This is actually takes place in my uh, county where I live, which is pretty cool. Then I have Jim Elliot, Heroes of the Faith by uh, Missionary Martyr, Marty, 
Uh, it is by Susan Martins, Martins Miller, which is, I have The Raft by S.A. Bodine. This is my horror section, which is only one book, which is uh, The Girl Who Loved Tom Gordon by Stephen King. And then this is my thriller section, which is only one book, but is it is The Girl on the Train by Paula Hawkins. I have library books, which is just The Upside of Unrequired by Becky Abertelli. And then I have uh, Heartless by Marissa Meyer. And then I have Living Dead Girl by Elizabeth Scott, which I need to return. I need to return that one. And then down here on my last shelf, it's a mess. Just kidding. It's only, yeah. But I have my American Girl section here. So, I just have, it's terrible lighting so you can't see. So it's really dark. But I just have the Molly. And then uh, I have the exclusive collector's edition of, or limited edition of Felicity, the, all her stories, which was, I haven't read it yet. But then I have a uh, Samantha story collection, which has all her stories. I just have a box set of the Molly. I hate, I need to put these back in. Um, but yeah. And then I have just have Meet Samantha, which is a single book. So yeah, that is my bookshelf tour. I hope you enjoyed. This is my first one ever. I know it's not that good but I tried I, I tried my best I'm not amazing at it obviously but like you know at least I did one and I tried my best so I hope you enjoyed it make sure you give this a big old thumbs up make sure you hit subscribe down below and make sure you comment if you've seen any of your favorite books bye guys